argument by emotive language. This fallacy is when someone uses certain words to kind of mislead or add more uh, emotion to a thought than is really necessary or appropriate. And so if you hear somebody doing this, that's just kind of the, like most fallacies, it's just kind of a flag being, somebody's waving it and saying, hey, take, take a better look at this, <laughs> this thing I'm saying and see if it's really based in truth and fact and evidence and all that. So an example would be, um, unicorns exist, and if you reject unicorns, you are basically rejecting love and happiness and, and the chance that good things can happen. Well, using the word reject and then adding goodness and happiness and all these other things, that's, that's putting all this emotion into it. And that's not fair. You're not rejecting something so much as just not believing in something because there's no evidence of that thing. So don't let people get away with that. And it, it does come down to, it is the responsibility for each of us to be a good thinker and a critical thinker. And when we hear someone say something, we, we might each have different levels of uh, intensity or different, uh, different amounts of evidence or quality of evidence until we believe something. But whatever yours is, if you want to be known as a good thinker and a solid thinker, then people need to meet that level of evidence or proof when they're trying to convince you of something. And be careful of the fallacy, argument by emotive language, because that's one trick to get you emotionally fooled into believing what they say. <laughs>